Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. In this video we will discuss the point regarding, how to apply external cement plaster properly. We discuss about, checks done before doing external plaster, and I will give tips for the good quality external cement plaster. Now let's start by discussing that, why external cement plaster is needed. External cement plaster is commonly used as a coating of external walls. External plaster prevents the masonry work of outside from rain, water and all other agents. External cement plaster gives an aesthetic view to the building. External cement plaster gives proper base to the paint work also. Due to the above mentioned points, external plaster must needed. Now let's discuss the checks done before doing external cement plaster. First check done is, RCC surface to be plastered should be hacked. 32 indentations per square foot is recommended to get good mechanical bonding between RCC surface and plaster. Second check done is, while doing plaster always check masonry wall, columns and building components are free from dust, grease, cement slurry or any other biological growth, which may affect plaster bonding with its substrate. If any such dust or any other biological component found on wall surface should cleaned properly and then plastering should done it is advisable to begin external plastering as soon as feasible from date of masonry wall completion, for a good bonding. Avoid any deposit slash accumulation on it. Third check done is surface to be plastered to be kept wet, before 6 hours. Minimum before commencing plaster so that when cement mortar is applied on masonry wall, it will not absorb water slash moisture from cement mortar. Fourth check is, surface to be plaster should chopped properly with even surface such that there will be no concrete flakes. Fifth check done is, level pads, bull marks, should be made on masonry wall at a minimum distance of 2 meter cc for getting plaster surface in perfect line and level. Next check is, avoid wall puncture for scaffolding support, keep masonry wall a virgin as possible, go for double scaffolding. By completing all these checks now you can start plaster work. Now I will give tips for good external plaster. Now let's discuss the tips for good external plastering work. First tip to follow is, a good quality of cement is used for external cement plastering. Cement stored more than one month would be avoided if possible because cement stored more than one month will not give as good bonding strength as a fresh cement required for external cement plaster. Now let's discuss the another tip. While mixing plaster mortar, take care that cement, sand and waterproofing compound are mixed well in dry condition and then water should added to achieve required consistency. Direct water mixing into mortar is avoided on site. Now let's discuss the another tip. Prepare as much quantity of cement plaster so as to consume it with one hour of mixing. After one hour of mixing the materials, use of that mortar is avoided. Always rough and first coat of plaster in wet stage before applying second coat for better bonding between two plaster coats. Now let's discuss the another tip. Ensure the drip mold is provided at all charges, 
parapet walls and sills so that water will not come along the wall in rainy season into the home. You can see the drip mold at Chadges given in following picture and diagram. Most importantly ensure curing of plaster is done, at least for 10 days. By following these checks and tips you can surely get the good quality of external cement plaster. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics